Once the desktop is loaded, loaded you'll know it, it looks like a regular Linux desktop except it's running in your browser and the response isn't the greatest. A lot of this is my CPU will max out um, on my virtual machine when I'm doing this. Um, but uh, just to give you an example, let's say you wanted to launch OpenOffice. And there you go. You're able to open documents, although I don't have any made. And you notice here we shared the accounting folder. And now he has access to everything inside the accounting folder, and con including a Excel file or OpenOffice calc file that I created with another user and added to that folder. And another nice thing you can do is desktop sharing. You invite the invite the user, and they can, uh, I believe, Active Mode allows them to interact on the same desktop as well. Now we can go ahead and end that session. And what we're going to do here is show you what the difference between portal and desktop is. Let's go ahead and save that. And again, this requires Internet Explorer 7 or above, or Firefox 3 or above, I believe. So let's just choose another user and log in. And the portal itself is, as you can see, a little different. You have your application list here, what applications are running, and then your file manager right here. And your file manager is pretty useful. Um, you have your accounting, again, with XLS, and if you double-click on the application, it will launch in another window, openoffice.org calc. And once that launches, you can once again edit any way you want and save it. And that will be available changed to all users um, that have the accounting folder. And once again with applications, let's just launch a web browser. It will automatically launch in in another window. And the nice thing I've been able to discover with Citrix, there's a lot of problems like clicking on links in email or clicking um, at least with 4.5 I believe if you've updated it's probably better. It will launch, if you're on thin clients, it will launch a local browser and not a browser through Citrix. And I've noticed with this one there hasn't really been that problem. If I click on links it will launch the virtual application. So. And as you can see, it launched. And the web page that they automatically go to actually has a lot of useful um, links right on the main page. Um, you will notice that, however, this does take a little while to refresh and just isn't the best browsing experience. And another thing I noticed, which I think would be considered a bug, if you minimize the application, you can't get that application back. You have to exit the application and then relaunch the application. So that's one thing to keep in mind. And that's the difference between Portal. And if you want, integrate this with your LDAP on that with your LDAP server and if you want to pull our users from there you can go to profile settings under configuration and pull an LDAP and you just enter all your information here and hit save or test and you can change your home directory folders even and it should uh, work just fine now let's go ahead and actually add an application just to see how that works. And <clears throat> we are going to add an application 3D Chess. That looks great. Let's go ahead and install it on this server. Now, um, 
the, it'll add it right now to an active task and you can see that in tasks and it's you'll notice it's in progress and there we go it's done installing so what we gotta do is make sure that the application is pushed out to the users so let's take a look at status and summary